Hello there everyone and welcome back. My attempt to garrison myself on the Flufius 2 did not work out as I would have liked, unfortunately. Although, I did do a notable amount of damage there, mainly due to defending fleet of Flufius 2. It was not meant to be, unfortunately, because all I got from my efforts was two cruisers on the main fleet and that was pretty much it. But, on the plus side of all this, I am happy to say Mentar the Mentar system is now on lockdown, as the uh, Klekons are too afraid to make their way over here. Now comes the frantic, frantic rush of building up my fleet quickly, so I can start pushing forward for a second attack, because right now I'm going to need a lot of power if I'm going to deal with a fleet of that strength. Thankfully though, I do have the interface drive now, which will help immensely with the travel time at least. And I also got two Titans about to get built. Let's see, we have one in Kadat, was it? Yeah, one turn away, so why the hell not? And we also have one over at Cessus, so... And, come to think of it, I also have a third Titan available. It just begs the question, do I really want to pull ships away from Cessus 4 in case the Mechlar are going to try something funny? That's something I'm going to have to seriously consider, because... They could try something at a moment's notice, so I'm definitely going to have to have something they're defending. It's just a matter of how much they want to pull. And of course, spies, let's continue to get you going again. More with the destabilization. We'll have you actually try and steal. Medium risk. I doubt it's going to work as well, If, but I have had some successes there, so it's not a complete failure. It's just a matter of my destabilization is really going to bear fruit for me or not. And the Hinde system is now prime for colonization. I am looking forward to you, but now, what the hell can I do with this thing? Oh, besides maybe upgrade my military outpost a little bit further. And come to think of it now, we still have a Titan in my back door. Which is hiding in here, don't you lie to me, I know you're in there. You sly little thing. You're just waiting for an opportunity to backstab me, aren't you? And without a doubt, it's going to snipe my jump gate, isn't it? Which is going to be a right nuisance. So, let me faint my maneuver some. Have this near the SKO system here. And also, if possible, I want an uh, Artemis system net. I think I want to try and rush for that as well to help with my defense effort some. Because if they're going to try to make a move to capture one of these systems, I'm going to make them work for it. It's going to cost 3000 to do though, so let's not worry about that just yet. Get the base defenses going, just in case. And since I can rush most of this, it, it will be pretty damn formidable. It's not going to probably defeat these two fleets when they merge together, but I'm hoping it does a lot better than damn Star Fortress I had up at, uh... What, damn it, I already remember the, forgot the name. Let's see, Flufius. The defense of Flufius did not go well, mainly because my Titan remaining ships were nowhere nearby. And I may apparently have accidentally matched speed with my destroyers to get them stuck with the Titan. Not that it would have made a notable difference, mind you, but... Nonetheless, it would have helped a little bit in ensuring at least one of those battleships would have died. And now, where did the Barathi fleet go? Did they go through the wormhole? Yep, they went through the wormhole, so they got pretty notable fleet here. And for some reason we have Clackon fleet in the back door, which hopefully can be dealt with. Not with a colony ship though, unfortunately, so that is going to be a nuisance as well. And you're just going to stay there for the time being fleet. I'm going to see if they're going to push out or not. Olaj is once again under bombardment. The story never ends, I guess. It never ends, but... At the very least, this fleet should not be able to get reinforcements, so... If there's a fleet over here at Jordanus and Orion, they should be able to take them out eventually. Because for crying out loud, this thing took out a Mechlar fleet, a Barathi fleet, and it's still going. So you think it would be a little bit crippled, maybe? And there's another Mechlar fleet here. Hopefully they'll engage them. Because apparently no one likes the Mechlar, so... At the very least, my destabilization efforts is paying off. I want to say, it's definitely looking like it, even though they're not going to outright war just yet. 
and you can't really blame them. The Mechlar are so fast and powerful, and they're kind of at war with each other. Never mind the fact the Clackons are also at war with me, so they're not going to pull any punches. Or they're not going to send... They're not actually going to punch... Bah! I lost the analogy now. Never mind. They're just not ready to go to war with the Mechlar. Here's the moral of the story there. And I tried multiple times to have peace with the Clackons, but... I'm not going to let them have that destabilization failed. That's unfortunate. I'm lucky though that they haven't been killing my spies just yet. Which is kind of their own damn fault. And let's see, of course, go figure, the Titans getting scared. They're just waiting for an opportunity to jump me. And really, I should be in good shape besides that jump gate is going to get probably sniped. So that is a bit of a problem. Robo Miner, I like to keep you going. I like to keep building ships too, but I'm not going to get much of an opportunity to deep core mine without a doubt for more production. I just got to find an opportunity when I can feel safe to build it. Because I'm still going to want to get some ships to push forward. So I can secure the other end of the wormhole and then I have two ways to feel chips through there. That is the hope anyway. Otherwise, more defenses in the name of the game up here in case I have to back up. Well, there's not really much defenses besides the Artemis net system I want. Because I don't think the beam tech's up for the challenge. I don't think... For... 49 turns, I have the money to rush in at least, so... Once I see them make a move forward... Well, actually, it's going to be too late once I make, see them make a move forward, so I might as well rush it now. As much as it pains me to do it. Because I would like that money for more ships, without a doubt. Now, we got ourselves in our Phoenix. I'm going to send the Titans on over with some escorting fleet. I just don't know how much do I want to leave back. I'll leave the Eagle destroying Titan with the Star Fortress. Or the Battle Station. Hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, it's pretty much enough on its own with the defenses there. Hell, I'm kind of contemplating pulling back more of the ship, the fleet. Also, what needs upgrades? Apparently the Phoenix and the Destroyer does, so... With that said, I should consider upgrading these ships too before I get them to take the jump. Because they're going to get slowed down due to the lack of interphase drive. So let's do that. Also, a couple fleets there. I could consider moving them out because there's no Mechlar anywhere nearby. So that'll be helpful. And you're just... Actually, this fleet will just go over here to the advanced military outpost. And if nothing else, they can support this fleet here, which is now capable enough when they're joined together to kill this one fleet. Maybe not Maybe not both of them, but maybe I can get away with attacking the fleet or sooner rather than later. I just gotta be mindful of that damn titan. Also, there's my other phoenix. You're on your way out. And how many turns will it actually take you to get up here to Python? Six turns, not too, sh not too shabby. Three of which is just jumping through the warp gate. So that is definitely a notable improvement. How no how big of a difference? I'm not really sure. I haven't paid that much attention to how much the speed increase they gave me. So you're going to defend there for now. End the turn. Clackon's still doing Clackon things. They're kind of ignoring the Mechlar this time around for some reason. Oh, they did destroy the plant finally. Olodge is now no more. Can this Barassi fleet... Be up for a challenge though. I think it already moved, so I'm not seeing it go anywhere. And apparently that frigate fleet has no bombing potential, otherwise they would have destroyed that jump gate by now. So there is that. A clack on fleet out in the middle of nowhere, but it can't do crap. It could destroy some isolated ships and stations at least, but otherwise it's not really a threat. It's just a mild nuisance, thankfully. Thankfully. I was fearful of the Barathe there. Speaking of which, I never did check what that battleship fleet's doing, but it looks like they're not pushing forward. Hell, the Barathe are so bold that they're like two turns away from that big massive fleet. Assuming that's what it is at Fufius Prime, anyway. We will see once the turn decides to end for me. Come on, don't leave me in suspense. 
Okay, trade agreements are done. Acquiring data is done. But that's only like nothing at this point. Yep, that's not the battleship fleet, so where the hell did that go? Oh, it's back up here, isn't it? Yeah, it's gone back over there, so... How do I abuse this? Hopefully this is not, does not bite me in the ass, but I'm going to kill me some space factories. And maybe a cruiser if I'm so lucky. And I can go push up with the Barathe, actually, provide a little bit of support. If not much of one, but at least it's something. This action is not available at this station, damn it. So they're going to be a bit slow. Oh, still going to be three turns, but is it fast with just the Phoenix? Yeah, two turns, but not that big a deal. I can live with one extra turn. What's... My mouse starts cooperating. I'm noticing that it's for some reason double clicking half the time. Whatever I try and use my left mouse button. It's a little irritating, to say the least. Nope, they're making their move. They are making their move. So... I know how to easily deal with this intimidate them. We'll see if they fall... F we'll see if they fall back, which they're more than likely going to do. But this is going to be irritating as hell. So the moral of the story is I have to trust my fleet's defenses, I think, or my planetary defenses to deal with that. If I'm going to get any progress done. It's a bit of a stalemate, without a doubt, and that cruiser's waiting for me. Which, needless to say, is a foolish errand. And the battleship fleets return back to Qing Prime for some reason. And look what they left themselves open to. Now the Barathe can pick up what I dropped down. Here's hoping, anyway. Although, yeah, they could potentially get a wave of attack on the fleet there at Flufius. Because it'll be two turns before that a fleet can even get to, into the system because of their poor placement. And with my battleships and that in the back, getting ready to snipe this cruiser and a few space factories, we are looking intimidating. It's going to be sloppy, it's going to be messy because we're going to have to dance around the massive armada. Which can very easily crush us if we get carried away. Especially back here when there's not really a lot of threat. Unless I can get to Wanza, which has a few star fortresses. And God knows what else. Also, come to think of it, I need bombs, don't I? To help destroy those jump gates. That would be kind of important. I think it's safe to say, so... Do I really go back with to having destroyers field... Uh... Bombs rather than plasma torpedoes? And I think it's safe to say that... The pulsars are kind of obsolete too. They seem like it anyway. We'll get rid of that and see if I can actually throw a bomb on. Get the best of both worlds. I just don't know what the highest quality bomb is. And there's no filter, so I'm gonna have to guess. All I got is fusion bombs, nuclear bombs. So you could tell I invested a lot of my efforts into bombs. Hey. How was I supposed to know torpedoes wouldn't do the job against jump gates? Not like I had much choice, but... I can actually get extra weaponry, though. Was the Pulsar really that heavy? Oh, it was probably due to upgrades. Never mind. It was probably due to upgrades, so what can I replace? This is point defense. I would like two gauze cans if I can help it. It doesn't look likely, though. Now, unless I want to get rid of all my point defense. I think I can kind of afford it. Because in the end, I got plenty of other ships with uh, point defense, so I'm, this is okay. But with that said, I should consider updating these ships, too. Because apparently I got the extra space to justify it. So Pulsar will keep on you. Gauze Cam will get you upgraded. A second one never hurts. And wow, only one point defense phase are not exactly exciting. A notable upgrade, nonetheless. Cruiser, you got your Sion missiles. This, this is not heavy mount. Which one is this? Oh, this is all round facing, okay. This is just basic. Yeah, it's just basic, so... 
Do I want a heavy mount? Can I even get a heavy mount? I can get a heavy mount. I can't get two though, so let's hope that does it. Ooh, just barely short. Thankfully. Ooh, so close. I hate that. Okay, let's get rid of the heavy mount. Get rid of the heavy mount for an extra point defense or something useful. There, that's probably the best I could do. We'll save that. And I don't think I'm going to update anything. I don't think I'm going to build much any more Titans is what I'm trying to say there. So we'll stick with the battleship. Keep an eye on the modifiers. I want a heavy mount. And an extra one on there. And I'm almost already out of space. So that's broadside and that's like extra auxiliary guns. So there we go. We're looking good. Can I add an extra torpedo? It looks like it. I could throw in uh, only one more. Still, good upgrades. I'm happy with it. Now I just need an opportunity to... Yeah, I can upgrade my destroyers easily enough. How much do I have, though? Because there's a lot of stuff to upgrade. When I rather... Oh, I got plenty of money. Although now I can't go back to the upgrade window, can I? So I'm going to have to manually figure out what, what ships need upgrades. Ooh. Am I able to move? This looks promising. And potentially, if I understand it right, the Artemis system will contribute to this battle. I want to assume. Because it's one per system. I only build it once and it's supposed to cover my entire system. Net, so this could work for me. I have the advantage and that has been working well for me. This is still going to be brutal with a damn Titan. It's only a Titan for destroyers, though. What? What's the worst that can happen, right? I'm going to suffer a hedge feed casualties with that damn Titan, though. With its heavy fighters. And I don't think I have enough pulsars to kind of eradicate them. Even then, I don't even think destroying the heavy fighters is going to be a permanent thing. So it's only going to stop, like, one salvo. But with this, I am going to match speed. And I don't even have an... Yeah, they're all cruisers, so... One Pulsar is not going to be enough. So, is there anything can get for free? And also match speed, that would be handy. If only a little bit. Because really, just kill these small ships quickly. Oh, this is going to hurt, but I'm sore. I stopped a lot of them. I stopped a lot of them, and I got out of range, apparently, of the Titan. Now i got to stop wasting my time. Oh, and I forgot my shield generators. Now, you're about to get hit by missiles, so shields... There, shields are up. That is all we want. But the cruiser still dies. Oh boy. Plasma torpedoes. That was the wor wa worst waste of a plasma torpedo. But the Titan's taking hits. Pla oh, one cruiser just dies. Those fighters are, no are brutal. They just took out two cruisers. Holy crap. Yeah, those plasma torpedoes are ruining me because I was firing at smaller crew ships. Can I take those hits? So far, so good. The shields are holding. One more salvo is all I need. Oh, I think we got it. Wreck it. Unload. I'm probably going to die with it, but that Titan is wrecked. Oh, I survived. That was closer than need to be, but again, I wasted one or two salvos on a bunch of frigates. Or destroyers, even, so... Safe to say that I was squandered a bit. And all, all it really would have done was just kept my griffin at more health. At higher health pool, really. And the transports flew away. But I killed what really mattered. That is a crippling blow. That is a crippling blow and I can focus on what's in front of me, not what's behind now. The nuisance of the Titan is finally dealt with.
So, Hinde, what are you? You're just a poor world. Nothing exciting. Hell, I don't even think you need a core waste dump. Because I don't even think it's possible for your pollution to... Well, you can still go over pollution. Just barely. Probably not worth it. Not getting a core waste dump just yet. But even then, it takes only 8 turns, which isn't too shabby. Actually, I'll build a core waste dump once I get the core mine going. Then it'll justify it if I were to set it in full production. LO2, you're not really exciting. So, we're just going to focus on your growth. And then you can bug me in like 9 turns, see about improving you. New world to colonize. Although all these worlds are not really going to bear much fruit until they're fully saturated, fully grown, fully established, so... We got a lot of work to do before they contribute. I, with this way this war is going with the Clackons, it I got time to kill, unfortunately. Because really, I'm not in a rush at this point with the campaign are officially over. So we're gonna upgrade you. You're gonna group up with the rest of the fleet, which is looking so damn formidable. It's just a shame. Well, I could push out, I just need the troop transports if I'm willing to risk that war there while I'm still fighting the Clackons. Because... Okay, they do have formidable fleets scattered everywhere. Like, there's a 4,000 defense rated fleet. And a couple of smaller ones that have probably just been recently built. So, they're still a threat, they're just not as big of a threat, actually. At least what I can tell, as the Clackons currently are. Either that or they're just so spread out, it's I'm not doing the math poorly on how big their armada really is. Ooh, there's another fearsome fleet there. So, I could still potentially do some real damage to them. As it stands now, I just gotta get ready to deal with these two Clackon fleets here, and then I have an extra pathway for reinforcements. That sounds good to me. Also, let me join the Barassi. They're game bold, so I'm definitely going to help them out some. And one more turn. Actually, yeah, next turn, assuming that fleet doesn't move. Ooh, oh, they're attacking me. Seriously? Well, that explains that, damn it. The Barassi don't want to help me. I'm a little bit disappointed. We're at war with a common enemy, and apparently they're not going to fight with me. If I knew that, I would not have done this. Now, it begs the question, can I do the damage to need it? Probably not. Especially with uh, plasma torpedoes on my battleship. If they can hit them, they're going to do ma amazing damage. Which really, when I was updating all my ships, I really should consider guided, guided plasma torpedoes. Just a little bit extra. Oh, the two of those should have definitely been hit. So I've been—I feel robbed. There, shields are up. Take the hits. Take as gracefully as possible. And eagle, try support. Yeah, those plasma torpedoes are useless here unless I can get in point blank range. Which thankfully they're doing just that. Ooh. Oh my god, maybe we're not out of this just yet. Just get a nice broadside for my plasma, or my broadside weaponry. So that way I can hopefully kill two of these frigates at once. Oh my. I think the Clackon screwed up here. I don't want to break just yet, but shields are back online. Other shields are about to charge, but the Eagle is taking some damage. I don't know if the battleship can actually defend for me. Oh, the nerve of them. Cheap shot. They're shooting at my transports. Okay, shields back up. There's only two frigates, or three. Two frigates and a destroyer, rather, and the destroyer was short-lived. Hey, uh, Griffin, you realize that was an uh, eagle you just shot at, right? Check your fire, damn it. But yeah, guy plasma torpedoes would be so useful, versatility-wise. They do amazing damage, though. And, well, even though that was a huge disappointment with the Barassi not supporting me, 
That was a massive success too. Things are starting to turn around for me. This war might be over sooner than I thought, but apparently they're now going to be one turn away now that they're at the jump game. The Barazzi are not choosing to attack Flufius. Instead, they decide to bomb the building outpost. A questionable use of their turn or time, mind you, but I guess they didn't want to commit suicide like I did. They did not inspire to, ha to do what I was capable of, try and chip down that massive fleet. Which, of course, had failed for me, but it was still a lot of clack on ships I destroyed, regardless. So it wasn't all bad, and I'm about to destroy a cruiser and an outpost. Well, it's still building, never mind. I lack bombs, I forgot. But at least I'll take out another cr cruiser from that equation. Just, Mechlar, stop stalling. I know you're worried that I'm going to come for you next, and you know what? You're probably right. But damn it, end your turn already. I want to deal with the Clackons so that way I could kill you too. And speaking of which, a lot of new ships are flying off that I'm detecting too. It looks like frigates and destroyers though, nothing too exciting. I think we're safe. And let's quickly deal with this one cruiser. And I repeat, let's quickly deal with this one cruiser. Not a huge threat at all. It's extra... It's like 700 defense ring though, I believe, on that cruiser. Maybe 500, so it's still very valuable target to snipe. Again, I'm going to suffer from attrition due to these... Due to these, uh... Was it ra gauze cannons? Since they can go through my shield, so I gotta be careful of that. Ooh, let's watch this salvo. Do any of them actually hit? Ooh, only three. That sucks. It flew right into him, and it still wasn't enough. I three of them took half its health, though. That just emphasized how. Oh, they still got a factory. I should kill that, shouldn't I? Let's not get too carried away. What the hell? How the hell destroyers are- Oh, these are old frigates, aren't they? No, they're hawks, so... I repeat what I was gonna say. How the hell are cruisers and destroyers outrunning my frigates? That doesn't make much sense, unless they're really out of date. They're Mark 11, so they could be, actually. Although, I don't know what mark for variant my hawks are at just yet. Let's quickly check. So, mark... What is it? 14, so really not that obsolete, so... That question still stands. How the hell are cruisers and destroyers outrunning my frigates? We'll probably never know.